Hi, I'm Kevin Johnson with FNH. We are a certified SPX Flow Service and Repair Center, and I'll be demonstrating the proper way to disassemble, inspect, and change the product seals on a Waukesha Universal Twin Screw PD Pump. Let's look at the tools required to perform this work, and we'll get started. We're going to start off with the wet end disassembly of the Waukesha Universal Twin Screw PD Pump. Start by taking an end wrench or socket for the correct size of your cover nuts, break them loose. Remove the cover straight off the body studs. Now you're gonna to wanna to take the correct size socket for your screw jam nut. Put your breakover bar or your torque wrench in reverse. Twist the pump until your rotor blocking tool can lock inside the screws and break your torque free. Do it on both sides. Remove your rotor nut, inspect the Belleville washer, make sure the cup side is down and there is no damage. Remove your left and right screws simply by pulling away from the body. Remove them simultaneously. Set them on the bench. Product side facing up, left and right position. Remove your product seals. Inside you've got all three of your seals come out as a cartridge. Keep the left side with the left and the right side with the right. Once you've removed your product seals, inside on your shaft, there's an O-ring here. Remove with the pick that's supplied with your manual. Slide the O-ring off the shaft, set with your seals. Now we can remove the body by removing the body retaining bolt screws. We'll use a 3 16 Allen T handle. Slide the body straight off the studs. Set it with the product side down. On the back side of your body, you've got three bolts per seal housing. You remove those with a 964th Allen T handle. Once your bolts are removed, you can push the seal collar down and onto the bench. Inspect your PD pump shaft in the O-ring areas for corrosion. Inspect your splines for wear. With your seals removed, inspect the inside of the body for corrosion as well. This completes the wet end disassembly of the Universal Twin Screw PD pump. Now we're going to cover the gear case assembly inspection for the Universal Twin Screw PD Pump. When your body and product seals are removed, you want to inspect your front grease seals. Make sure there's no leakage. If there is, replace. Every 2,000 hours, gear oil needs changed. Drain from your lower plug, fill up to the top sight glass. 
The back side of the pump, you have an oil seal. Inspect for wear or leakage. Replace if necessary. That concludes the gear case inspection for a Universal Twin Screw PD pump. With your single mechanical seal assembly, you have a seal carrier, O-rings, a wave spring, and an inner O-ring. There are two flush ports located inside the seal carrier that match with your external flush ports on the body. Align those with your bolt holes and install. Once your seal carriers are tight, you can install your body onto the gear case. Tighten your body retaining bolts. Once your body's installed, you can install your seal components. You start with your shaft O-ring. Stationary seal with the three pins. Line them with the three pins on the back side of your body. Rotating seal. Screw adapter and O-rings. Make sure your flats align with the flats of your seal and install. Once you install your product seals, you're ready to install your screws, torque them down, attach the cover, and the seal change will be complete. Now we're going to go through the double mechanical seal configuration on a universal twin screw PD pump. We already have the single mechanical seal installed. The only difference are going to be our shaft components and the non-product side seal. We'll install our shaft O-ring in the back groove of the pump. You have your shaft O-ring, your rotating seal, Notice your flats on the seal as well as on the shaft. Align them and install. Once that's seated, install your wave spring in the back of your seal carrier housing. Install your non-product side O-ring in the seal carrier housing. And install your stationary seal. Once you have those installed, you're ready to install the body onto the gear case. Slide your body on, tighten your body retaining bolts. Once your body is seated onto the gear case, you're ready to go back on with your shaft O-rings on the front side of your shaft. Install your rotating seal, your stationary, and your screw adapter piece.
Now that all your product seals are installed, you're ready to install your screws, torque them down, attach the cover, and the product seal change is complete. We hope you enjoyed this pump training video. Additional videos and other helpful resources can be found on our website. Once again, I'm Kevin with F&H. Thanks for watching.